Hello and welcome back to Never Start a Land War in Northeast Asia. We are down to two wars left, Asturias and Lithuania. That is a very large army, Asturias. Um, yeah, I'm going to be very careful not to walk into that. We are stressed, as you would be if you've been in this many wars and you were 600 uh, down in debt. 600 uh, ducats. Where are your river crossings? between here and that one. So what we want you to do is want to go like this into their army. You okay? Uh, the witch hunter created another Yaraldum. Not going to arrest anybody. I wish to beat up Asturias' army. What is that? No. No, 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 no. Is there a way out? Well. <laughs> looks like we're fighting the Knights of Santiago. Okay. I can't see this going well for us. Wait, they get a river crossing, which is good. They also have, like, all heavy infantry, though. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we do lose. Yeah. Holy orders are, I believe, cheating. Um, oh. We get to choose how we want to mint coins. De obviously, debase them 100%. Get us that... Get us out of this hell. We can get to positive money. We can get, um... Holy Orders, I think. Like, um, Holy Orders cost money per month, don't they? They do cost money per month. We also have no men at all now. <laughs> Maybe you have no armies. Uh, I'll wipe peace with your story. Yeah, sure. Um, I really didn't want to be in, the, in that war any further. I'll wipe peace with you as well, King of Lithuania, if you'll take it. No, you want me to surrender and pay you 400 gold. Uh, I'm not going to do that unless I have to. Dangerous factions. Mm, okay. Not happy with that. What do you guys want? Well, I say, what, yeah, what do you want? Increased council power in Britannia. Okay. Uh, we can probably disband all armies now. Yeah. Cool. That's our retinue size, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, can we re-raise... Mm, we could re-raise another 5,000. It's not enough to beat Lithuania. I think we have to lose the Lithuanian war as well. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think we have to. We lose three moral authority and the money, but the more we wait, the more money we have to lose. So. There we go. There we go. Okay. Introduce the heir to the realm. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, we get some prestige there. Dangerous factions. Increased council power. Okay. Well, we're going to be at peace for a while. Uh, we have to be at peace for 425 months, give or take 20 months. Or we need to die. Dying does lower your threat a lot, as far as I can tell. I'm not sure if it does. 100%, but I think it does. Godi Barad uh, of Benton is a renowned godly and learned vassal of yours, having introduced him to... Is it? Would that be Vaughn? Probably Vaughn. Uh, Barrett approaches you with an offer. Barrett is willing to spend some time teaching uh, Vaughn some of more intricate parts of the sagas in exchange for your favors. Sure, we'll do it. We'll get learning on our son. Uh, cruel or kind? We'll try and get kind. We got kind. Great. Uh, don't want this marriage? No. We do want to marry our half-sister off to someone, though. How about the head of the Byzantine Empire's son? I mean, it worked before. Spouse. No spouse. No spouse. Uh, yes. I wish to arrange a marriage between you and my lovely half-sister. We'll not consider offers from infidels. So if you're friends, you can ignore that. But we're not friends. Okay. Um, yes. So Vaughn did not do very well with the gaudy. That's unfortunate. Right. Uh, while having a pleasant conversation, you're suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Vaughn has gotten in a fight with a child of one of the visiting vassals. He becomes bitter rivals with Prince uh, Rugenvalder of the Scottish Revolt. Okay. Um, Danmark is in all of the factions, which is unfortunate. Uh, and King Steerbjorn for... Uh, Britannia fact. You forced him to join a faction to put himself in charge of Britannia. 
I'm not sure I'm happy with that, to be honest with you. But, okay. Well, as long as we keep waiting here, we will get more and more men, so that's fine. Mayor uh, Balder of Biofield is a renowned fighter and tactician. Having introduced himself to Vaughn, Balder approaches you with an offer. Balder is willing to spend some time teaching Vaughn how to fight in exchange for your favor. Sure. Like, this is going to be a fantastic son in terms of the amount that we push up his, his um, stats. That's my hope, anyway. Right. Look how much money we gain a month. It's actually crazy. We gain 25. Wait, we don't also don't lose any a month, it says currently. I've done my best to groom um, our son into, into a worthy heir. Great. Your vassal, your all something something, is not getting any damn land for his sons. Right. Uh, as you're working, your court physician comes into your study. My fault here. You have been up all night again. It would be in your interest not to work so hard. At least you shall collect from exhaustion. So there's a chance that we get... The realm never rests, so neither shall I. So a chance of being diligent. Perhaps I am right. Yeah, perhaps you're right, and it gets us health, and we lose stress. No, I want diligent. Who is diligent? Not happening. Okay. Tyke has published the results from his medical investigations. The book has not received any notable attention. It's just gathering dust in my library. Oh. Well, that's not good at all. Do we actually have... Yeah, we have zero expenses right now. Um, peasants are disregarding my divine right to rule. That's unfortunate. You want to marry my daughter? No. You cannot marry my daughter. You wish to marry my half-sister? No. Uh, we should find a marriage for a half-sister. So, do we have an alliance with you yet? Or a non-aggression pact? We can get a non-aggression pact with them. Cool. Because uh, I remembered that we had a way to get an alliance previously. Yeah, we'll get an alliance with, with uh, Scythion. That's good. So we have another ally. So we have one in the Byzantine Empire and one up there. Uh, cool. Well, this is all good, I guess. Um, defensive packs are still th fairly threatening. Young Vaughn has finished his uh, education in the ways of war. It's evident he has excelled in his studies. He is a skilled tactician. Oh. Stats aren't that amazing. Compared to ours, but I suppose we didn't start off with amazing stats either. E either. Uh, unlanded son, do not care. Uh, we could give, we could find a marriage from. I suppose. Let's see what we got. We're looking for a woman. All this, uh, my religion group don't care about culture. Let's have a look at all. We're looking for a probably a gen, a genius. There are no geniuses. Are there any... Is anybody quick? There are some quick. Okay. Uh, you would do perfectly, actually. Straight away. Uh, you would do even better, but... Oh, wait. I need to reset the list, because this isn't in order. I realize it's not an order of age, I don't think. Uh, that's better. But it's also not better, because there isn't anybody else. Um, our content one down here would do. Yeah. Either content or the brawny one off a hit, off a little bit, but we'll, we'll go with the content one. You are going to marry my son. No. Will not consider offers from infidels, even with his opinion of us. Okay. You will marry my son. And he'll say yes because he's the same religion. We lose 400 prestige, not worry. Fulfill the ambition to groom an heir. They have gotten married. Uh, no, don't marry my daughter. Right. Uh, education focus. You're going to be a martial education. There we go. Ambition. We're going to build a war chest. Perfect. Now, what's great about this ambition is we get to do something very, very fun. Well, I mean, apart from... Oh, we should also probably uh, hold a great blot at some point and ransom all these prisoners. I suppose they... Uh, you're low board, but somebody will play, pay a ransom for you? Oh, sure. That's fine. We can extort our subjects to get ourselves back up to zero, which I think we will do. Let's do it. The money for that war chest is not going to raise itself. You've decided to take matters into your own hands. See the chest gets filled to the brim with donations from your loyal subjects. How should you proceed? So we can get the peasants to pay a tax. Tyke is wealthy and can part from some gold. 
or clergy love gold. Mm. Oh, I don't really like any of those options, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. It only gets us 100 gold. I thought it would scale. It doesn't really seem to have scaled very much. Prince Council Power Faction. I don't like that one bit. You. Um, I would like to give you a small gift. I might knock him out of the faction. Uh, you. Can I give you an honorary title? You could be my Regent Herdsman Law Speaker. Let's make you a Law Speaker. Okay. I really don't like that faction at all. But, uh, it's okay. Uh, child lacks a childhood focus. You're gonna be a prideful child. Right. Uh, Braggy, the just... Oh, we, all, we still have auto-stop plots on? Yeah. That's fine. Don't want you to marry. Cool. Now we're just gaining our money back. Uh... Our retinue won't reinforce until we have money, currently, so that's unfortunate. We have another daughter. Okay, um... Is there anything that we can do? We can probably... We need another commander. We can put that in. That's, that's easy enough. Uh, yeah. Has we just kind of wait a little bit for our money to go up? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we have a reasonable sized army. We just can't actually... Um... Like, we, we just can't pay any more people, basically. Look how much money we gain. It's crazy, because we have no expenses, apparently. Oh, yeah, because our retinue can't go up because we have no, um... Like, we can't... We don't, we don't have to pay for our retinue because we just, like... Uh, because uh, the retinue can't reinforce when you have no money. So, yeah, we're gaining a lot. People are leaving the defense pact against me? That seems short-sighted. We can't hold a great block because we don't have 50 gold. I was like, why can't we hold that block? No no gold. Ah, uh, sure, you can be patient. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Continue just letting our money come down. You want to marry my daughter? No. That's fine. Thanks for the offer. No. And... No. Probably not, would be my answer here. Nope, and no. Let's come up with an idea to uh, remove the Thieves Guild in the counties, pay them to move elsewhere. So pay to stop criminals. Thieves Guild will be removed from Brunswick, or we do not associate with criminals. Sure, we'll remove them. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't actually cost us money, so I like that. Um... Yeah, we're just going to ignore these now. We're just not going to answer them. We're going to continue gaining our money. We're going to be rich. And we're going to be happy. And we're not going to worry about any of this stuff. So that's fine. Uh, young uh, Fefelis has finished her education in stewardship. Um, do we have any concubines who are too old now? We do. We have a 44-year-old. Goodbye. Uh, set aside concubine. There we go. We could, um, I was going to say could we convert our concubines, but I guess it's hard to tell. Uh, can't get you. You know, I'm just seeing if anyone gives us prestige, and otherwise we'll just pick, uh, the youngest. Actually, this person, we just came in as 16. Um, Eloise might give us one, so we'll get rid of the 31-year-old as well. Who will not convert, so we'll set her aside. And then, was it Heloise? Nothing. Uh, okay. Oh, you, you'll you give us prestige for... You'll give us money? As will you. Perfect. We'll get our money there. Uh, Heloise will do, though. We'll take you as a concubine. Perfect. Get tiny amounts of money. Compared to our monthly income, but it's fine. Sven wanted to learn to whistle. After trying for a while, he asked, How come you can do it? So we can get... Either way, he can get brooding. So it's easy you can do it, or not everyone can do it. Uh, I don't know. It's easy. You can do it. He has gained brooding. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, do not care. We're not going to accept either of those things. The head of the Umayyads. Oh, wow. Is that a crusade against us? Ah, that's unfortunate. 
His Holiness the Pope is worried about the state of the souls in England, the heathens under the Falkir Edmund have no chance for salvation and will suffer the eternal fires unless they can be brought to Christ in this life. Any Christian so willing is offered a complete absolution of sins in the armed mission against the Catholic barbarians. All right then. Let's raise up our men. You want to fight us? I'm more than willing. Where are our boats? Down here? Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Merge the armies. Uh, get on the boat. Go to the coast. Um, merge up up here. Not you guys. You guys stay where you are. In fact, get on the boat. Stay where you are. Get on the boat. Uh, stay where you are. Get on the boat. Uh, get on the boat. Get on the boat. You can't fit on the boat. Okay. Get on the boat. There we go. We get everybody that we can. Here. Yep. Everybody that we can. Just to check we're not missing anybody. Right, you're all gonna head over here. Right. That's fine. Uh, as she's growing older, I could see that Gerard could use some uh, guidance in my experienced areas. Uh, no. We're not going to lose anything to do that. Fine. Continue to merge up. I believe we're just going to go beat up the Pope directly here. Right. Bag is no longer our spy master. Oh, we can also call in our uh, allies, which we, we should do. Yeah. My master is going to be Ivar, who loves us, and Ivar is going to go scheme in our capital. Good. Let's make sure we have everybody that we can here. A merge person, get back on land, merge on there. Where's our boats doing? We have two who are up there. You know what? Boats and people on boat do not care about you being disbanded. Head round here. Uh, we'll just grab everyone that we can. Uh, merge. Right. Head round here. Let's get everybody on the boat. Do we get any money for winning this war? We get... No money. Huh. That's unfortunate. Uh, crusades give no money, but holy wars do. Offer to join war. Sure. Sure. Why would I say no? Like, it's like, I want to join your war for no for no negatives. Sure, I'll let you in it. Next province. Merge, get on boats. Wait, is that the Pope about to land some men at us? If that is, we're destroying those men. Uh, go kill him. Yeah. Landmen next door capital, why don't you? Make it easy for us. Uh, can we ransom him? Yeah, 10 gold. Cool. I'm going to chase his army down as well and murder them. If they stay around here. I kind of feel a little bit insulted that they um, decided to attack us, to be honest with you. Uh, Braggy can be our steward and he can collect taxes. Uh, head down here. Keep chasing. Head down here. Keep chasing. How far away are they going? Going all the way to Northampton? We can't even... Oh wait, they're going even further. Where are they going? They're going to Essex. Okay. A nearest bit of Christian land, I assume. Ivar is no longer our spy master. He, uh... Died of pneumonia. Oh, okay. Uh, Holg Holgmir, you will be my spy master. You will scheme up here. Right. Keep chasing into their army. Destroy it. Right. We're, we're going to Rome on a little journey to show them why you do not attack me. Right. I really hope we get the Pope here. I would very much like to sacrifice him, but we'll see. See how it goes. 
Uh, after a festive outing in the wild, I found a message left amidst wildflowers addressed to my half-sister Alvor. The would-be lover Yungvor, Yungvor is waiting for her by the stream near the camp. Oh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the negative event if you try and leave a message. It's the one where it never gets to them. For seduction events. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we are going to land 17,000 men on Rome. And I think we're going to assault Rome. Yeah. Good Goodbye, Rome. It was sure nice of you to attack us. Appreciate it. Right. Offer our peace and force our demands. The Catholic Crusade for England has ended. Jesus, it seems, does not favor the Christian faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Pope and Stanius III has called off the crusade uh, for England against Falkir Edmund. Or e Edmund. Right. <laughs> That's that one done. Back up here, we need to go defeat a peasant's revolt. Um, okay, there are some negative factions. You want to get ambitious? Uh, no, she must learn on her own. More money, we are actually in the positives and money now. Which means we're actually losing money per month because our retinue is reinforcing. Which I think is quite funny. Uh, but that's fine. We can assert uh, the High Chiefdom of Finland or the Earldom of Vestergotland. That's fine. Don't want to do either of those right now. But we can, which is the important bit. Uh, I think that was... Oh, there's a host trying to... Uh, Defeat our rebels. We'll, we'll, we'll go join in this fight. Yeah. Very good. A young Gerud is a tough soldier who's not, actually not very good at anything. Okay. We have won the Peasants' Revolt. We've defeated the host. Range betrothal. Uh, no. Right. Land. Council position for a court chaplain, which is going to be you. Okay, go and convert um, Lundberg. Right. Um, where are we now? All the great block? Where do we have to be? Between March and November. So, oh no, it has to be um, the other side. That's fine. Need a court physician. A court physician done. Okay. So it can be a gaudy or we can look for a new one. We'll look for a new one. Right, sent out messengers. Um, you need a childhood focus. You are going to have duty. There we go. Disband those men. Disband those men. Let this lot reinforce. Good. Good. Your ranger reports that brilliant physician is supposedly residing in the forests of Hilmwerk. The physician, a dwarf named Friedrich, as only ever leaves the forest in order to heal sick children of nearby by villages with the right amount of coercion and praise he would reluctantly agree to take up residence in your court. No. We do not want him. He vanished without a trace. Um can only look for a physician once every three years. The reason I said no is because our gaudy is better, basically. That's fine. Uh someone has joined a faction, because he the witch hunter used his thing to push him into a faction again. Not a problem. Right. The buildings Princess Halfred was looking to reinforce should be torn down and replaced with sturdier houses and watchtowers. But Princess Halfred was insistent that something could be done about them. I told her my honest opinion about the buildings. Um, the materials from old houses could be used to erect better buildings. Nothing could be done. Tear them down. Or the cost to rebuild would be great and I want a share of that. No, we'll, we'll, we'll tell her that... Uh, that we can use the old buildings. There we are. Peasants of Oldenburg uh, are starting to respect my rule again. I should never let my treasury go negative. Well, it wasn't really my intention. Um, Jarl Vaughn is no longer our um, advisor. Wait, so who is the... So you've taken... Alright, so now this is the king of Ireland. Okay. Has Ireland got Tanistry or something? No, it's got Gavelkind. Okay. Uh, so we've lost an advisor, but we could change your council position to advisor. Okay. He should be my advisor? 
Mm, no. I had something else in mind. Yeah, he should be my advisor. No, I want him in the open advisor slot. Okay. Uh, let's put in a new advisor as the King of Ireland. There we go. And then we will say that you can change your council position with the uh, is Godfrey's son of Odin better? Oh, he is. Yeah, so we'll swap those two. Over. So we now have you. Uh, I didn't want to open that one. I wanted to see which vassal doesn't like us. It is the King of Denmark. Right. You go improve relations with him. Good. Right. You lack a childhood education. You are conscientious, so probably stewardship. There we go. Right. Titles can be usurped. We can shut the gates. There's a little bit of camp fever. Alright. I think that we are finally uh, where we should be. Like, we're back to normal, I think. Yeah. Although we do have some random armies around the place that need to be disbanded. There we go. Just disband all of those little armies that uh, are hanging around the place. Right. This is our retinue. And this is the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.